which was developed in Northern Ireland, is said to be used in Chinese hospitals. It has the ability to identify COVID-19 and differentiates it from nine other respiratory infections. While the test is being shipped to uh, China from Randox Laboratories in Northern Ireland. And joining us now from there is John Lamont, who's the head of research and development. John, great to talk to you. Just, just tell us a little bit about why this test was developed, first of all. Well, uh, after the outbreak in, in China and the release of the genomic information, uh, we were able to then to design. Uh, our own tests based on that, on the sequence of, of the virus. Uh, we have a proprietary technology which allows us to measure multiple viruses uh, in the one sample. And so we took the decision early on that it would be important uh, to develop this panel uh, as we felt it would be important to differentiate uh, from other flu-like illnesses um, causes by things like rhinovirus, adenovirus, and also differentiate between other coronaviruses which are, are in circulation, but generally not as harmful. So, so let's be clear, Randox laboratories already create tests to try to establish different diseases. Is that correct? But you were just able to, to make this one for coronavirus really quickly? Yeah, we, we have an expert uh, team who have developed over 150 tests uh, for viruses, bacteria, and, and fungi uh, and, and different areas. So we have the expertise to design these tests and then we have the array platform which allows us to uh, provide these to hospital laboratories worldwide. So it's a combination of the two capabilities. So how, so how do they work? How, how are the tests carried out? So the tests are carried out using an investigator uh, platform and we the test we have two tests on it on a biochip which uh, target two different regions uh, of the RNA virus so that we have both a confirmatory if you like and a specific test and um, between the two tests then we can be sure that we're, we're picking up the virus so there's two tests on a, on a biochip uh, in combination with other viruses which cause similar symptoms such as fever. And in terms of the biochip, is, is that is that blood or, or saliva that the patients have to give? You can use a, a nasal swab, a throat swab, or uh, you, you can use a sputum sample. And how reliable do you believe these tests are? You're, you're saying that they're obviously the two components to it, but, but what sort of uh, hit rate are you getting? Well, we, we've, uh, we've tested uh, sensitivity to the test down to about 50 copies of the virus. So we've got a very sensitive assay. Uh, we have two assays which do that. So one confirms the other. Uh, we're ta targeting uh, two different parts of the, the virus. So we can be very specific. We've checked it out against other coronaviruses which uh, are endemic and we've checked it out against the MERS virus and SARS virus. So we've been able to acquire these samples and check for specificity. So we're very sure of the specificity and the quality of, of the result. So, so basically, if it says you've got it, you've got it. If it, if it says you haven't, you haven't. That's correct, yeah. How long does it take for the results to come through? Uh, about four hours is, is the time with the system, yeah. Four hours, that's very fast, isn't it? So yeah. how could this be used to help slow the spread? I mean, you've, you've, you've sent it to China, it's being used out there. Do you anticipate there being a demand from the UK? Yes, we're, we're hopeful of demand in the UK. We're already talking to Public Health England who are going to give a, an independent assessment of the assay. But really the, the test, uh, really to contain the virus, we need to act very quickly and diagnose people quickly and we believe as our test comes in we, we've got to isolate people with uh, the, the coronavirus and make sure we diagnose flu A and flu B as well. So we would advocate as the WHO uh, have advocated that you test all people with flu-like illnesses with atypical pneumonia and we are proactive then in uh, testing within the UK and other countries. 
OK, John Lamont uh, from Randolph's Laboratories. Uh, good to talk to you. Thanks very much. Thank you.